for. We are with Vagabond Coffee, the owner here. And he's gonna show us how to do the beloved pumpkin spice because that's what's on everybody's mind as we head into fall. At least that's what's on my mind. Will Morgan, yes. thank you so much for being with us this morning. Not and a I you you wore the perfect outfit for this, <laughs> Brianna. You know, everybody loves pumpkin spice. Yeah. Because it reminds us of fall and cooler temperatures and all the fun things that come with that. Yeah. All right, so what, what are the key ingredients here, So Will? at Vagabond, we make everything in-house. So if you come into our shop and you get any of our pastries or any flavored coffees, we're making that in-house. So for our pumpkin, we started making it, oof, I guess, at least eight years ago. Um, but one of the things we do a little different is we put agave in ours. Ooh. So agave is a, a, a sweetener. It's kind of like different than sugar or honey. But for me, we've always used it in a lot of our drinks because it tends to bring out the sweetness in the coffee. Okay. So when we go to make our flavor, sometimes we use that, but specifically with the pumpkin spice. Ours is definitely more gritty, more like a homemade one like you would have at home. And it's pretty simple. I don't remember all the ingredients off the top of my head, but um, for most people, it's just going to come down to like finding the flavor of what you like, right? Okay. So like find a coffee shop that you like. Come to Vagabond, talk to us or just figure out like your favorite recipe online. And when you do that, like for me, coffee is about consistency. So when you're making coffee at home, even when you're making a flavor for something, uh, the more you do it, the more you figure out really what you like is the best bet. When it comes to pumpkin spice, what, is, what ingredient exactly says yeah. fall to you? So What's for me, we use real pumpkin. We don't use yeah. artificial flavor or anything like that. So we're taking pumpkin chunks and like puree pumpkin and we're cooking it down we're mixing it we're straining it we're pushing it through sieves but again like i said we i personally and like as far as vagabond we still like a little bit of that like pumpkin at the bottom so when you yeah. get a pumpkin latte at vagabond like you're getting actual pumpkin in it so for me definitely you got to get real pumpkin don't try to use imitation don't put any fake flavors in it i mean if you need to use vanilla use vanilla extract that's totally fine everybody yeah. does that but grab a can of pumpkin cook it down i mean it's pretty straightforward it's just like you're making a pie filling right yeah. whatever you think you'd want in that pumpkin pie from like your grandma's recipe even maybe take that recipe and just make the filling from the inside so it's going to be brown sugar maybe all you really need to grab from the store is a can of pumpkin Okay, it's so, good for you too. Pumpkin's yeah, healthy. Yeah. So you guys are definitely the real deal. Um, tell me, do you guys offer the pumpkin all year round? Because I know some places don't. No, so we don't. <laughs> um, but that's what makes it special. Yeah, you got to have some things that don't come out too early. So for us, we are releasing it a little bit early because you guys asked us to come on the show. Oh, so yeah. today <laughs> you can go to Vagabond. Uh, we have it on our bar. We actually have 100 extra Pop-Tarts today because it's our seven year anniversary. And if you guys want, we brought some pumpkin Pop-Tarts. I brought some for you to try because that's usually what happens when I'm on the show. So oh, yeah. we have some of our blueberry Pop-Tarts, our pumpkin Pop-Tarts, and then we have an apple cinnamon, kind of like an apple pie Pop-Tart as well. So um, these are something that you can look up in an old edible too. We've put the recipes for these in the edible magazine. It's a great local uh, like food source um, that's published locally. Um, so yeah, these are, these are great. They're delicious. It, they look delicious. And you have the coffee here, right? Yeah, so we have been doing coffee in Jacksonville for almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, I brought some coffee if you guys want to try some. Sure, so always. Down. Yes, I, let's, this is, let's, this, I am like one let's of those do, let's do pumpkin this. lovers. And while you're pouring this, tell us about, you have some events going on today yes. to celebrate your seven year Ooh. anniversary. Yeah, so we have had our shop in Murray Hill for seven years this August. And so tonight, um, we were planning to do a concert outside, but we're gonna move in side to Murray Hill Theater. Um, and so tonight we'll be there. We're going to have Dean Winter in the Heat. It's a, a local kind of like country rock band that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have big birthday cake giveaways. Somebody's winning nice. coffee for a year. Ooh, so you can nice. come in and uh, there'll be lots of other giveaways, but we're going to have a party tonight. And then tomorrow we have our flea that we do once a month as well called the Vagabond Flea. So we'll close Edgewood Avenue down or if it rains, we'll be in Murray Hill Theater again. And that's on Edgewood Avenue. So you've been listening to Danielle. You know there's a chance for storms tonight. So you I moved have it been inside. following the weather and you guys very closely this week because we've had a lot of outside events. So uh, we're, we're just lucky that we're able to do it inside tonight. Um, we love Murray Hill. I, I personally live there. 
uh, it's a great community. And um, based off the support of the community in, in Jacksonville at large, we could keep making these yummy goodies and this amazing coffee for you guys. Yes, uh, I'm mouth watering a little this bit. This is amazing. Hey, cheers. Yes, I already Happy started. Happy fall to I you. I'm excited for you. You love it so much.